So hello everyone, I am DJ Mustang and today we are going to solve a hack the box machine. The machine name is Steam Cloud. So uh, as you can see the cloud in the image and this cloud holds something and definitely it's not a steam. So uh, basically the cloud holds the resources and we are going to extract those resources. So that is what is the goal of this uh, box. So this box is basically the Linux box difficulty is easy and uh, there is a asterisk mark over there. Hidden asterisk mark I can say. So uh, and the conditions are um, uh, like you have to know the Kubernetes concept uh, if you know the concept then you are good to go otherwise uh, you'll stuck at the first place so uh, first we'll go through the some basic concepts of kubernetes and then we'll start with the box so uh, let's uh, begin what is kubernetes kubernetes is a portable extensible open source uh, source of platform for managing containerized workloads and the services so basically uh, when you dip, uh, developed any app that app you, you make a package and you deploy it to the container so those containers are managed by the kubernetes so this is what is the basic concept of kubernetes so uh, we'll see the evolution of the uh, website deployment back in the days we uh, used to uh, deploy the uh, application on the, uh, on the on the one system that is a hardware operating system and the application on the one system so uh, for the better result we move to the uh, virtualized deployment virtual in the virtual deployment we basically we are um, taking this part onto the virtual machine uh, we are, we are de deploying onto the virtual machine multiple virtual machines so uh, in this scenario we got the better result but there was uh, you know uh, redundant memory and uh, it was consuming too much resources so for that we moved to the containerized deployment and the containerized era i can say so in this uh, in this containerized deployment uh, basically hardware uh, on top of the hardware operating system and on top of that there is a container runtime so basically whenever you uh, de de develop any application that application uh, you, you can directly uh, deploy into the container uh, with the, uh, of course binaries and libraries so there is no you don't have to uh, you know uh, deploy the uh, operating system to run those uh, you know components so you can directly deploy into the container and these containers are managed by the uh, you know kubernetes so this is what all about the kubernetes we'll see the uh, component of the kubernetes the components of the kubernetes cluster so kubernetes have a uh, node kubelets APS server uh, so many components uh, kubernetes have so we'll uh, simplified in the uh, in this diagram so this is basically the youtube video uh, created by the ibm technologies and i'll uh, mention the link in the description so over here i can see the uh, user is basically interacting with the aps server aps server is a component of the kubelet master and these are requ these requests are redirecting to the kubelets and they are deploying one uh, smallest unit over here that is application front end af so this is what uh, they have labeled so uh, the smallest unit of the uh, the you know uh, deployment uh, is called a pod so this pod have a uh, uh, internal ip address and uh, you can directly ssh to it so uh, this is uh, the basic idea of the uh, kubernetes we'll start with the machine then so uh, let's start with the nmap uh, so it's starting with sorry sudo and map uh, ss as in still scan uh, hyphen a is to um, for the os detection and the service detection uh, is also called uh, aggressive scan uh, hyphen p hyphen is to scan all the 65535 ports of the 10 10 11 133 box so it will take some time so we have a saved output we'll quickly analyze the saved output so saved output is uh, i can see that port number 22 ssh is open and it, uh, it's it's a 7.9 point p1 uh, debian 10 plus and uh, 2379 uh, SSL ETCD, ETCD uh, client and ETCD server is running 2380 then 8443 HTTPS port is there 
and this port is uh, a bit promising because I can see so many fingerprints are over here and HTTP service is running on this port oh uh, I can see the API call is um, happening from over here API version C and uh, they are uh, the server is not uh, allowing the resources and that's the reason it is so showing the forbidden and the uh, you can see the application JSON that means it's a JSON call and it is uh, some kubernetes headers are there so I can say that this is a kubernetes uh, and the APIs are uh, you know trying to access the resources but it is uh, uh, I mean uh, service not allowing so we'll uh, we'll try to uh, access this port uh, through c uh, URL we'll see what is happening so um, the same thing I did uh, c URL k case which is case which is to uh, by uh, I mean skip the uh, SSL certificate related errors because if we use uh, if we didn't use this K then it will give you the certificate error and to skip this error we are using a K switch so once we uh, I mean uh, try to access the resources on the uh, this this uh, steam cloud box on the 8443 then it is showing this kind of uh, thing like a kind status status failure and forbidden user message message is like if your session is anonymous then you can't access this resources or any resources so uh, we have to think in a different way so we'll, uh, we'll we'll try to access the cluster information uh through the um, kubectl uh, uh, you know tool what is kubectl so kubectl is basically the tool uh, created by the kubernetes and uh, it is uh, the basically the command line tool allows you to run command against the kubernetes cluster like cluster information if you need a cluster information you just have to uh, uh, type that command the cluster information or uh, apart from that uh, we'll see what kind of uh, uh, commands are available so first we have to install this tool so for the installation uh, i'll uh, mention the link in the description uh, so this is the link and uh, they have mentioned these steps to install the uh, this tool so you just have to follow the instruction and uh, the tool will be installed on your uh, local kali machine so i have installed uh, the tool on my local kali machine and uh, we'll see the options whatever the commands are there see the alpha api resources api version config file you can extract plugins version you can see many things over here but there is a, a problem that it needs the authentication uh, so we'll see uh, whether it is uh, you know uh, anonymous login or anonymous session is allowed or not if it is allowed then yes we'll get all the information else it's uh, we will not get any information so first we'll see first we'll go with the uh, cluster info this one so the command will be kubectl and we'll going to use the server okay then uh, the server ip address and the port number and not get port it's uh, cluster info so an anonymous login uh, is it taking no it's not taking the uh, anonymous login so uh, again we have to think in a different way so we'll go with the uh, another tool this is the kubelet ctl tool so uh, this tool is uh, capable enough to extract the information which are uh, documented or undocumented uh, so what this tool can do so it, it, it can uh, run any kubelet api call uh, scan nodes with the open kubelet api scan for the container with the rce run command on the available container uh, by kubelet at the same time 
that means we can if the if some container or pod is uh, vulnerable to rce then we can uh, run the uh, you know os command like id ls command on the kubelet that's what they are trying to say so uh, we'll start with the kubelet kubelet help so oh, okay so for the installation they have uh, given the uh, steps uh, how to install this tool and see so that's uh, that's that's it you just have to copy this file on your system and uh, you just have to uh, call this kubelet uh, CDL uh, file that's it nothing else so uh, I have a file uh, in this uh, folder so I'll directly call this file kubelet CTL this binary our uh, kubelet CTL help so help will show you so many information uh, okay so this one is first one is the here that is a server IP address uh, we need this S switch then uh, first we'll see the pods how many pods are there the information basically so okay there are some uh, um, what you can say uh, examples are there so we'll take the first one uh, just copy and we'll copy and this will just paste it okay to call the file Pods server and our server IP address is 10 10 11 dot one three three okay so these eight okay total eight pods are uh, present on this box so I can see the namespace and the container name also of the same pods uh, and uh, yeah pretty good information okay so now next uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, search for the RC uh, whether is there any uh, report code execution uh, is possible on this box so um, where is the information okay we'll scan okay scan the notes okay and then scan after that we'll use the RCE so instead of pods we will say scan RCE yes two uh, two hyphen will be there no I guess there, there will be no hyphen just the uh, scan I guess it will work now oh great so uh, I guess we have to decrease the size because it is overlapping okay it is actually overlapping let me run this command once again okay so now I can see uh, pods namespace and the containers and which container ha uh, which container is uh, uh, or which pod is uh, vulnerable to the uh, you know uh, RCE so first name I can see the nginx default namespace and nginx container is vulnerable to RCE so first we'll uh, run the uh, remote code uh, uh, yeah remote code execution on this uh, this port nginx port so for that the syntax will be okay so uh, uh, namespace my port okay so we have to write the run ls so it will be like a uh, kubelet run and the ls command then namespace okay and then pod and container name and then server now we'll copy the whole thing so 
so it will be like then run we are going to run the id command not ls it's it's up to you namespace is what is the namespace it's default only i can see over here default then pod name so pod name is nginx so we'll change over here then next is container container name is nginx only and the server that is uh, 10 10 11 dot 1 3 3 that's it and uh, the uh, code is executed on the remote server that is uh, uh, zero uh, it, it is saying that and the code is executed so we'll try with another code that is ls minus la oh sorry ls hyphen la and here we go so i can see home directory and the root directory since we are root so we'll go to the root directory and we can uh, extract the flag so that would be like uh, uh -huh, cat and the path that is root and root dot txt but i guess this is not the uh, you know uh, user uh, this is not the uh, root access it's a root access of the container i guess then it will be user dot txt okay so we got the flag also user flag 